they're not they were not custom made like they are today you know you just you're you went to the biking skate company and you look pulled off some boxes of skates that were your size tried on a couple pair you looked at the blades and you said okay this is what i'm going to use for this year um nowadays gosh those things are all custom made carbon fiber um, the old skates were nothing more than kind of a track shoe on top of a a blade was it fixed was it did it have the clap um they were fixed. Yeah, yeah. They were fixed. Um, yeah. And they're, you know, fixed cups like a hockey skate. Yeah. And the boot is just, it's, it's, there's nothing much to it. You just got a kind of a hard counter. Yeah, because now they make it in one one system, one shell, so it's more stable. You can put the force into the ice better. Yeah, um, no, you can. Yeah, transition all your power yeah. a lot easier. Was Inside. your were you a, a good tech on your own skates? Because I know, um, you know, I've heard about Diane Hollum, uh, your coach. Was she your tech, and 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 how did you manage your equipment? I mean, yeah. was that kind of on the athlete back then to do that? It was much more on the athlete than it is today. Uh, nowadays, you have hired somebody hired from the team who is a skate technician, and I think that the the skaters understand when their skates feel good and understand when they don't and then are trying to talk with the skate technician on, you know, do I need more rock? Do I need a little bit of bend? Do I yeah. need to change the pivot point in the, the clap mechanism? But uh, back, I keep saying back, but <laughs> 40 years ago. 40 years, uh, yeah. Yeah. Skaters were in charge of their own equipment and um, I was very – meticulous in particular about sharpening my skates um probably more than most a lot of it i learned from my father was very sort of i would say innovative yeah. at the time and um your father was a surgeon so i assume he had a mind of like technical like being specific with your equipment it, it he, mattered very much so yeah, yeah you know you during the season you were very good about trying to maintain the rock in your skates. Um, you're hand sharpening those and you're sharpening them after every workout, you're sharpening them in between races. It would take you, or at least it would take me about 45 minutes to sharpen my skates each time I, I did it. And yeah, uh, I was very good at trying to make that blade as fast as possible.